Hey, what's going on to my YouTube fans? It's your girl and your small coming up in. Basically, I'm coming in here as y'all saw the title. Uh, Lesbian Talk 101. Um, basically, I had a couple subscribers ask me that, uh, just talk about your um, lesbian life and, you know, explain and what do you go through, what, you know, type of things I go through with my life. But before I get to that, I just still want to say what up to all my true subscribers. I still see that I'm getting thumbs down, but that's cool. I see somebody still want to hate. That ain't no thing. But anyway, no demonstrations, deliberations is going to keep being talked about. Do -do -do, the number you have reached. <laughs> you know, um, basically, I ain't got time for that. Um, basically, I got some questions on my lifestyle. Man, hold on one second. Just hold the line. Hold on. Wish I could put this bitch on pause, but I can't. But hold on. Because this is talking right here. I tried to have music in the background, but failure. Hold on. But anyway, y'all, uh, excuse the mess. Hate to get on this up at all. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, I had a couple subscribers wanting me to explain on my lesbian lifestyle. Um, basically, when I first came on here, I expressed it. Um, it's a lot of my new subscribers and some that came in in the middle didn't get to see. But, uh, yeah. My lesbian lifestyle. First of all, I got questions. When did you know that you were a lesbian? Basically, I knew I was a lesbian when I was probably, um, about 15, but never acted on it, never did nothing. Was bought, brought up, and raised in the church. Last man come out in this household, you can get your damn lips swept off or put into a damn shelter. <laughs> you know, um, that never came out for me. I never just out blurted it out. Mainly when I got 19 and I moved, um, I told my family about my lifestyle. My grandmother and didn't approve of it, but God rest my mama's soul, she did. Come to find out, when, when I came out, she told me she was too. I was like, say what? I be damn. <laughs> Wow. You know, so at the end of the day, that really gave me some reassurance. You know, um, basically with me being brought up in the church and that thing, I know uh, a lot of people be like, oh, they don't accept that in the church. We don't do that. We don't. Now, they need to quit with that damn lie and excuse the French. When I was coming up, I saw so many gay folk at church running around here like, Ooh, dudes. It was ridiculous. But I never had no discrimination against it. I mean, when people go to church, they go to church to praise the Lord. It ain't about what you do, it's how you do it. 
But you already know the gays that's in the church. Don't act like folk don't know that. That's why when I came out, I told my mama and my grandmama. Because I was like, you know, it wasn't just because I saw people or anything of that nature. It was just that, um, basically, you know, people felt free and they felt they accepted themselves at the moment. And they talked to God about it. And God knows, God Hey man, nobody, he already knew what you was gonna be before you got here anyway. Why fake the funk? I wasn't gonna fake the funk. I prayed, I tried to talk to dudes, and no, don't get me wrong. I talked to guys. Coming up in high school, went to the prom with a guy, and ain't like I went to the prom with a woman and nothing all like that. Shit, I couldn't do that neither. They had been looking at me like I'm a damn fool back then. But as I got older, I understood it more, you know, you know, found more out about myself and knew what I liked. And with me being in the church or whatever, I just felt like I needed to be free with it. Ain't no need to fake in the fun. I mean, God, I can see that. But I'm not even putting him in the midst of this type it was just that people wanted to know how did I accept. And this is what I accepted because I was brought up in church. I had did videos talking about this for people that were scared to come out. Like, what do you think you should do? What you I mean, the best thing you could do is keep it real with yourself. Why take the funk with people? For what? Why hide behind yourself? I'm not going to hide. I never did. After I did, I was like, I know what I want. I know what makes me happy in my life. And so, I pursued what I liked. And um, as to this day, I'm single. Um, You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, you got fakes out here, falsified, people talking about what they is and ain't, and you know, it's a lot of stuff to look out for when you're in the, in the lesbian field. You know, you have females lying. They can tell about they lesbians or not. I dealt with that. Also, you know, I got a question about that. I dealt five years ago. I caught this female up in the fucking act. Lying. I go out. I'm sorry, y'all. I just see my son. But anyway, I go out, come back. She up in here with this dude. Now, I don't discriminate against guys. Never did. As long as you keep it real with me, I'm cool. She did. I come back in here. She got the dude and that in the room. Fucking like a... It ain't nothing. Now, I could have been one of them crazy females and just kick that fucking door in. Excuse my French. Y'all know me keeping it real. But I ain't do that. You know, so that was part of my lesbian experience. That's why I'm single now. But the whole thing, I love my lesbian fam. I love them just to keep it real. Don't go out here faking the funk. That's the same thing with regular homosexuals, whatever. You know, regular, you know, straight, lesbian, any type of relationship. Men, women, whatever. Women, women, men, men, whatever. No fact to fuck with people. A relationship is a relationship. You cannot sit out here and play with people's masks because you never know what you come across. You'll meet the motherfucker that will show you. Trust. You know, but it's much love to my L, my L, B, G, T, all day. But um, my thing is, I've been single for like almost two years now. Um, I want to meet somebody that makes some sense. I don't want to meet fakes, liars. 
you know, females that ain't making sense, you know. Um, I always been real with females, and I just felt like I came across females that they fuck with me all the time. I had one relationship I was in for eight years, my first relationship when I was 19. Um, moved out, stayed with her eight years. She was a total temper case. Bad temper. Busting walls and shit. Crazy. Didn't want me to see my family. Trying to keep me away from my family. I'm like, are you really sick? And you stand with your family. You in a two family flat and we stand up over your family. But I can't see my family. Girl, bad. You got me thought. So, after dealing with that after eight years, took me about two, three years to get in another relationship. Met this one chick. She looked like Wendy Williams to me. And she know it. She, she was somebody I went to school with. Uh, she wound up liking me. We had a five-year relationship. All my relationships was long. I only had like two, three long relationships with women. But, at the end of the day, I noticed they all couldn't keep it really real. They were insecure about themselves. They didn't know what they really wanted. I met one, but this in particular one, she, I, she claimed she was going into the ministries and doing this and all that. And, you know, it was just crazy. So I was like, do you. I'm just going to let you do you. And. Just leave me alone, man, because you're confused. At the end of the day, i just been chilling, checking and chatting with some of my true fans out there, you know, taking it nice and slow. I really don't have time for game players in my life. You know, they be like, you ain't met nobody yet? No. That's not make sense. I met one, you know, but at the end of the day, um... I'm just taking it nice and slow. I'm not trying to be all out here like, oh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. No. This is what some of these lesbians mess up at. They out here like, oh, yeah, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then <laughs> later on down the line, you look like a damn fool. You don't want to make yourself look like no fool. But. This is just an small, my true thoughts on lesbian one-on-one. I got a part two because I have some more uh, questions to answer. I just don't want to hold y'all up because it's kind of late and my uploads coming up late. YouTube is on some bullshit and I don't have time. So, you know, I'm just keeping it real in the field. Check it out. I got a uh, lesbian talk. One on one with Nina Small Part Two coming up, so stay tuned to my true fans and check it out. Um, also, you know, feel free to comment, chime in. If you don't, I can understand, no problem. But if you can climb in and and you know, display your true thoughts on like some of this fake lesbianism, some of them that fake the funk. Some of them that can't keep it real, gotta lie, gotta do this, gotta do that. Then what do y'all think? They're not really lesbians or are they playing games? It's a lot of them out there. So we gotta stay clear to my true fans that is lesbians. And even this goes out to strengths. Even if you're in a relationship with somebody, if you even see Somebody playing games, what you talking about? Oh, well, yeah, we going to be together. We're going to do this and that. And you see down the line, it's a whole nother cascade of a damn story. Drop it down, your experiences. You don't just conclude just for one thing. That's what I said. This is me. I ain't trying to stick on one topic, but it goes for everybody. Lesbians, straights, whatever. Everybody. So... Shout it down. Feel free to. This is your girl. I've been noticing a lot of things going on. So, you know, with YouTube, whatever. So, if you feel free, you want to drop some comments down there, hit me up. Let me know. But, 
check it out. Can't deal with it. I can't. And I got more to come on this topic about lesbianism and my lifestyle. Stay tuned for that blog. Coming up, part two. Your girl named Simone. I'm up out of here. Much love to all my true subscribers. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.